Redwood City Police shoot and kill a man they say was armed and used kids as shields. That and more news coming up on SyncedIn. Hey everyone, this is an intense video. It may be disturbing to some. Oh my God. It shows a shootout between Redwood City police officers and a man they say was armed with a gun and used children as human shields. This happened Tuesday afternoon near the 1500 block of El Camino Real. Police say they responded to the scene to investigate a suspected domestic violence incident involving a woman, her children, and an armed man. Uh, once the officers realized that the man was uh, armed with a handgun, they backed off and a perimeter was set up and they attempted to negotiate with a man while he was inside the car with at least two of the children, the two young children, aged one and aged four years old. The woman, uh, who was 32 years old, was also inside that car with the man and the children. The department says the man eventually started firing at police. That's when officers shot back. At some point, the man got out of the car with the firearm. Several shots were fired by officers that were at the scene from different locations that had surrounded that car. The man died later at the hospital. Police say the woman and her children are doing okay. Officials are conducting an investigation. In other local news, there's a new mayor in town. County Supervisor Cindy Chavez conceded the very close San Jose mayor race to Councilman Matt Mahan on Wednesday. Mahan had been in the lead since Election Day, but just by a few points, the final count ended up being 51% for Mahan, 49% for Chavez. This is according to the latest from the Santa Clara County Elections Office. I'm obviously disappointed. I wanted so um, much to be able to serve the residents of San Jose as mayor of San Jose. I'm blessed that I'm still on the Board of Supervisors, so I'm going to get an opportunity to continue to work on public safety and affordable housing, and housing the homeless in particular. Chavez says she would certainly consider running for mayor in two years. All right, the street Constitution Way in the city of Alameda has a new name. It's now called Wilma Chan Way. City leaders renamed the street Wednesday morning in honor of longtime lawmaker and public servant Wilma Chan, who was tragically hit and killed last year while walking her dog in Alameda. Chan's daughter says she hopes the street renaming serves as a safety reminder for drivers. We thought that uh, renaming Constitution Way might serve as a safety reminder as people were coming in and out of Alameda. Um, making a positive impact, especially in health and safety, we're really at the core of who my mom was. The city of Oakland also honored Chan early November by renaming Madison Park in Chinatown. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching.